Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this homecoming makeup look. I know this time of year, everyone's going to homecoming and I really, really loved getting ready for homecoming or prom. It was my favorite thing about high school. I hated high school, but my favorite thing ever was proms and homecomings. It really made the whole year worthwhile because we got to dress up, put on makeup and just look really, really good and take really beautiful pictures. So it was always one of my favorite things. I used to go get my makeup done at the MAC counter and I would pay $50 and then I'd get a lipstick that I could use all night. But sometimes I really didn't like my makeup and I would go home and kind of touch it up myself or kind of alter it in some way. And I feel like I would show you guys a look that would look good with a lot of your dresses. I feel like a bronze glitter cut crease would look good with a lot of different styles of dresses. And it's just a really beautiful look that I feel I would definitely wear to homecoming. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And if you guys want to know how to get a homecoming makeup look, then just keep on watching. All right, so to prime our skin for homecoming, I'm gonna be using the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This is super luminous and hydrates the skin beautifully under foundation, but if you are more on the oily side, I would suggest the Angel Veil Primer by NYX or the Shine Free Primer. This is going to control that oil, so make sure you use a primer that really caters to your skin type, and this will prolong the wear of your foundation on your big night of homecoming. And this primer smells fantastic. I love the way it smells. It smells so good. Another great option, drink water because this is good for your skin. I definitely don't do it enough, but um, I'm trying to get better at it. All right, so for foundation today, I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And this is such a beautiful foundation for homecoming. It's super glowy, it's luminous, and it's just so light on the skin. I just love the way it feels and looks so beautiful. It gives you a very nice glow, just like it says, and it's just a beautiful foundation that you can find at the drugstore, and it's very affordable. It's really, really great. But if you wanted more of a fuller coverage look, I would suggest the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I've tried this before, it is very full coverage and it's also really affordable. You can find this also at the drugstore. All right, so now to conceal and highlight, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles and this is in light. This is an amazing, amazing concealer from the drugstore. I've used this for so long now and I think it's just so good. It blends out so beautifully and it has such great coverage. So we're gonna use this little guy today. So what I like to do is just go under my eyes and draw out some triangles. Then I'm gonna go on my forehead, my chin, and yeah, and down the bridge of my nose. And now I'm just gonna blend out with a beauty blender. So now that we are concealed and highlighted, I'm gonna go in and set underneath my eyes using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. So I'm just going in with a beauty blender and I'm just pressing this right underneath the eyes. And this is going to make sure nothing creases or moves around and it's also going to further highlight that area out. So to set our foundation today, we are using the NYX Hydra Touch Foundation Powder in the shade Medium Beige. Now I always love to set my foundation with a powder because it prolongs my foundation tremendously. If you ever wear a foundation and by the end of the day, it's off, it's gone, it's completely off your face. You definitely should try using a foundation powder because you will be shocked at how much it will prolong that foundation to really just stay on your face. It's not gonna move. And for homecoming, this is a great option if you are like me. Foundation kind of disappears. Definitely try a foundation powder. So for brows today, I'm gonna use my favorite pomade and this is by Benefit Cosmetics and this is the Cabrow in number five. And this is amazing. This is going to manipulate your brow hairs to kind of do whatever you want them to do. I definitely go for more of a bold brow. That's why I really, really love this product. So I always like to start at the tail end of the brow and then I go in, create the arch and then I bring whatever is left on the brush to the front of the brow and I kind of flick the brush up So once I have them filled in, I always like to go back in with a little bit of the concealer that I used earlier. And I just go in and start carving them out a little bit just to clean up any edges. 
And then to set them, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Gimme Brow in Five Deep, and this is a brow volumizing gel, so it's going to add some fibers into the sparse areas and make them look fuller, but also set them for the entire day so they don't move around at all. All right, so now that we've got the brows done, we're gonna come back to the face in a little bit and start on these homecoming eyes. So to start out your homecoming look, make sure you prime your lids with a concealer or eyeshadow primer to ensure your eye look shows up, super pigmented, and lasts all night long. And here I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Using the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutral, I'm going to take a taupe eyeshadow and start blending this right into my crease. And this is going to act as our transition shade. And next, going right over top with a deep reddish brown, I'm just going to dust this right over the top of that taupe color and blend further into the crease to deepen everything up. Next, we're going to start cutting that crease using a small brush and the reddish brown eyeshadow we used in the crease. I'm going to start out at the middle area of my eyelid and cutting the crease far above my actual crease line. I like to follow the arch of my eyebrow to get a good cut crease shape and then bring this right into the tear duct area and back out towards my eyebrow. Going in with the red shimmery eyeshadow, I'm going over the top of the cut crease and blending upwards. This is going to diffuse that harsh line and make everything appear more gradient. You can also go back in later and darken everything up, and that's typically what I like to do with all of my cut crease looks. So next we're going to start cutting that lid with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair, and I'm just going right in and creating the lid shape that I want by pressing this up against the dark line we created for our crease. The concealer also helps get you that exact line that you want and make everything look a lot more sharp. For the glitter lid, I'm using NYX's Glitter Primer and Face and Body Glitter in Bronze, and I'm just going to be packing this right onto the lid using a flat brush. After the glitter, I always like to go back in and deepen up the crease to prevent any lost color. For the brow bone highlight, I'm using a matte white and applying this right at the arch of the brow to make it appear very arched and also it lifts the eye tremendously. Using NYX's matte liquid liner, I'm going to create a baby wing that follows the shape of the cut crease. I think a small wing really complements a cut crease without taking away from it, and this liner is perfect because it's matte and works really well over the top of glitter and still looks very pigmented. Taking a bronze liner from NYX, I'm going to line up my waterline and then go back in with a warm brown eyeshadow and smoke out that lower lash line. For the inner corner and tear duct area, I'm going to be using the same highlighter I'll be using on my face today, and it's from the NYX Illuminating Palette, and it's a very light champagne gold, which reminds me so much of MAC Nylon, and if I'm not mistaken, this is definitely a dupe for that shade. Now for some mascara and false lashes. The false lashes I'm wearing today are from Flutter Lashes in the style Shayla, which are pretty much my favorite lashes ever. And this is the finished homecoming eye look. So now to warm up the skin, I'm going to be using the Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow, and this is in the shade Fake Tan. I'm just going to mix these two shades here and kind of dust them all around my face. So I like to concentrate this bronzer just right at the hairline and kind of around my face because it kind of gives a nice halo of warmth and really it makes you look super tan. But it also gives a really nice natural contour to the face. So I like to take this and also bring it onto the cheeks and up. And as you can see, this side already slimmed out my face and gave me a beautiful contour without having to go in and do anything super drastic. And this is definitely my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. It's so good. And I like that it has two sides to it. So if you did want to kind of further contour, you can use the more taupey side. And then this side is like a bronzer, but I like to mix them. And yeah, so this is really great. So now I'm gonna go in and start contouring my nose with the same product. And I always start up by my eyebrow and kind of work down. And then I just like to go in with a fluffy brush and kind of blend out the contour so it looks a little bit more natural. So now I'm gonna go in with this blush by NYX and this is in the shade Coraline. It's a beautiful peachy pinky coral color. And I really love wearing these colors when I'm doing like a warm bronze look, like what we're doing today. And I think this will really complement that look. So now I'm just going to take this right onto the cheeks and kind of bring it back. So 
So for highlight today, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Illuminating Palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade right here and highlighting my cheekbones, my forehead, and also the bridge of my nose. And then I'm also going to take it above my brow and onto my forehead. This highlighting palette has just amazing pigment to it, and it also is very affordable, and it is my favorite drugstore highlighter. So now I'm going to go in with a smaller pencil brush and highlight the bridge of my nose. So for lips, I'm going for a peach lip today, and it matches the dress I'm going to put on in a little bit. And I remember when I was in high school going to prom or homecoming, I always loved wearing glosses or lipsticks because they were just so easy to apply. A liquid lipstick is also a great option, but it sometimes can be uncomfortable and get a little dry throughout the night. So a lipstick is kind of like a safer option that you can just reapply when you need to. And the lipstick I'm going to be using is actually an intense butter gloss by NYX, and it is in Napoleon. It's so beautiful. And it it really matches this dress. And lastly, a really important part in prolonging your makeup for that night, you're going to want to set it with a setting spray. This will also melt the product into your skin and make it look so natural and beautiful. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. And I like to spray a lot, but you don't have to spray this much. <laughs> All right, beauties, this is the final homecoming look. I hope you all enjoyed this look today. Remember, if you did enjoy it, to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.